Welcome to this month in GK, July edition. This month is all about upgrades. GK Alpha Clusters with Feature Gates is GA. Previously, you could only create an alpha cluster which enabled all Kubernetes alpha features, which could lead to instability. Now you can use the gCloud CLI to create which features to enable, giving you more granular control. Our first upgrade enhancement is accelerated patch auto upgrades. What this means is that when, whenever a new patch becomes available in any given channel, we will now immediately make that your auto upgrade target. Prior to this, we used to have a soak time, which you can still use, right? And you'd have to wait until it became the default, and then that would be the upgrade. In order to use this feature, quite simple, just use the dash dash patch update equals accelerated flag. You can do this when creating clusters or when updating clusters, and then your upgrades will kick off immediately when a new patch is available in your channel. Next in our upgrade enhancements is rollout sequencing improvements. Rollout sequencing for the reference is a feature that allows you to define stages in which you want your clusters to be rolled out or to be upgraded. So you can do things like upgrade my dev before my QA and my QA before my production. Well, now we add two more stages so you can create a sequence that has four, five stages instead of three. We can also use the latest qualified version for subsequent stages, ignoring clusters with higher version for qualification and supporting a two minor version difference between fleets. Next on our list is maintenance timeline in the upgrade user interface. This improvement provides a visual timeline in the GUI to clearly show when automatic upgrades can and cannot occur. This feature also allows for the review of existing maintenance policies. Wrapping up our upgrade enhancements, we added a few improvements in the terms of our extended support. For those of you who don't know, we do offer extended support on GKE clusters, allowing you up to 24 months of support for any time in minor releases out there. This improvement now adds a few features into the list of eligible clusters, specifically use of the gateway API and of our new feature to enable syscoddles on the node config. Last but not least, starting GKE 133.2, you can use custom compute classes to define Kubernetes labels on the nodes. These labels will be added to the node object in the Kubernetes API and can be used to schedule pods on specific nodes using the node selector field. That concludes our July updates. We hope you enjoy them and you hope you also enjoy your summer wherever it happens. We'll see you next time.